Hey everyone, Tom here taking a look at the new Paladins open beta. This one's been on PC since 2015 actually, but finally I've had the chance to see the score on PS4, Xbox One and PS4 Pro. Alright, so it does have more than a passing resemblance to Overwatch. I mean let's cut to Overwatch footage here for a second and there's clearly a big overlap in visual direction. The colourful aesthetic, characters, announcers, music and even the HUD mirror a lot of the choices made in Blizzard's own MOBA shooter. But in terms of overall execution, Paladins is still one of the best alternatives I've played to date. Developed by the talented team at Hi Res Studios, the force behind games like Smite, it deploys Unreal Engine 3 with Havoc Physics to achieve attractive visuals at 60fps on all platforms. Bearing in mind it's still a beta, I thought I'd go through each platform to see how each holds up. And we're better to start than PS4 and Xbox One. A few points on visuals first, both consoles ran at PC's absolute top graphic settings, including max world draw, shadows, textures, particles and shader quality. There is zero differences between them, though really, Paladins isn't striving to hit the cutting edge in visual technology. Given it began as a PC game catering to the largest audience possible, the goal here is to have visual settings that run at 60fps on even low end graphics cards. And that's why there's basically no compromise on PS4 and Xbox One. If I put all three side by side, the only difference you'll see really is a slightly lower gamma level by default on consoles, especially PS4. There's also an exaggerated halo effect on PS4's lamps here, but otherwise character models, texture filtering, the whole package is exactly as is from PC. Resolution though is a sticking point. PS4 and Xbox One run at 1920x1080 which again is no issue for most GPUs with this game at max settings. The key difference is, once the screen fills with alpha effects, these consoles prioritise 60fps gameplay over image quality. So in other words, rather than letting a frame drop, the resolution dynamically lowers instead. So yes, a dynamic resolution is used in Paladins, but it's only on Xbox One that I've noticed it so far. Each game kicks off at a full 1080p, but Xbox One can lower to 1728x972, a 10% drop on each axis once you get into hectic battles with lots of effects. Other numbers might be possible, but that's the lowest on record from my tests. In all honesty though, and just like Overwatch, the game moves so quickly that drops in resolution are hard to spot. High res Studios makes the right call though, and as for PS4, I've yet to see drops below 1080p even at stress points. Besides that, the only major difference between PS4, Xbox One and PC is in the number of bugs and glitches I've noticed. Check this out, on Xbox One the AI moves properly through the doorway, guiding you through each area of the tutorial. Equally, AI enemies attack on sight as they should, just like the PC version. But when I move to PS4, something's clearly wrong with this beta build, and you get glitches in movement or even no reaction at all from the AI. Something's up with PS4, but thankfully it doesn't affect the main gameplay modes, just the practice modes. And for what it's worth, it's also an issue I've noticed on PS4 Pro. A major positive of Paladins though, even in this early stage, is in performance. Check out the base PS4 for starters, you get a fixed 60fps line all the way through, and the only drop I've experienced is from instant replays. So for example, from the enemy viewpoint after dying, frame rates can tumble to the low 40s and even 30fps in the worst case. Weirdly, there's no correlation between the intensity of the effects work and these drops. More to the point, it's exactly the same scene you just saw at 60fps being replayed from another viewpoint and now suddenly running much lower. So it's an odd one, but PS4 turns in a rock solid 60fps where it really matters in controllable gameplay. But the fact replays are so inconsistent could be a matter of optimization in the beta. and performance is just as solid on Xbox One. Expect a pure 60fps here, with the only drawback being that dynamic resolution kicks in more aggressively when it needs to. Curiously, the frame rate drops during instant replays have been less prevalent with Xbox One from what I've tried so far. It may be the luck of the draw, but outside a few drop frames here and there, these seem to roll out at the usual 60fps. But in general, it's a smooth showing on both consoles, at PC's max settings, and for the most part 1080p. Which makes you wonder, just what's left on the table for Paladin's PS4 Pro support? The answer to that is given directly from hi res Studios. Just as was the case with Smite, it lays all the PS4 Pro extras out bare on its website. And in a nutshell, if you output the game at 4K, you get exactly that. A native 4K with dynamic resolution, with the pixel count dropping at stress points. Careful. 
The lowest recorded resolution for my tests is 3264 by 1836, a drop to 85% on each axis from a full 4K. But that's really not bad at all, and a majority of my pixel test samples show a genuine 4K here. Next to a regular PS4, this is a pretty decent upgrade. The downside is there's no improvement to the game's settings otherwise. It's the same visual makeup, but this time running at 4K. Perhaps that's expected given we've hit the ceiling on PC's settings menu already, but the resolution boost should be enough to satisfy most PS4 Pro owners. In fact, you could say Paladins makes a bigger effort here than Overwatch ever did, where the best we got was 4K HUDs and a bump to texture filtering quality. It may be the underdog, but Paladins makes a much stronger effort for PS4 Pro owners. Alright, so it's good news for those connected to an Ultra HD TV, but what about the many of us still on 1080p screens? Well, I'm afraid that's where the positives run out. High res Studios confirms you get the same experience as a regular PS4 in that case, and I can confirm that from a quick check too. You get a native 1080p image with the same visuals, though potentially an improvement to frame rate in replays. It's far from ideal, and another example of super sampling falling by the wayside in most developers' priorities for PS4 Pro. And it really shouldn't be this way. The fact is Paladins runs brilliantly even on a moderately specced PC, and we should expect much more. For example, I dipped into Paladins on a Pentium G4560 processor with a GTX 1050 with 2GB of VRAM at stock clocks, all of which easily gets the job done at 1080p max settings and 4x anti-aliasing. This is a budget machine, and not even using the TI version of the card, and we're sailing through each matchup at 60fps. The game is clearly catered to the lower end PC, and the good news is nobody's left behind there, but it makes you wonder just how much power is left on tap with a console like PS4 Pro running at these exact same settings, with a markedly more powerful GPU that should be put to better use. For anyone on a 4K screen, it's not an issue of course, and I couldn't be happier to see more 4K goodness being pushed out by the console. And factoring in PS4 and Xbox One as well, it's great to see 60fps given the highest priority across the board, as it should be. Certainly, Paladins has a steep mountain to climb by going head-to-head -head with an industry phenomenon like Overwatch, but on a technical level at least, the game scales well to every machine it touches, with a surprise advantage over Blizzard's game with its 4K Pro support. Anyway, that'll do for the moment. For more Digital Foundry Gubbins, feel free to like or subscribe to get our latest videos as soon as they land on the channel. Also, for anyone itching to see the source file to this video at 4K, we have a high quality version at digitalfoundry.net. Let us know what you think, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Ooh, I like the heels. <laughs> <laughs>